Hey all, it is Susanna Williams today with um, Essential Oils Health Matters. And I am doing the fourth part, let me see, yes, the fourth part in our series of I Am a Love Magnet. And the, the affirmation that we have today is I am a love magnet. I am kind to myself while attempting new things. And I'm working out of this book that is by Dr. Susan Lutton. Anyway, um, I am kind. I am, a, I am a magnet for love. I am kind to myself while attempting new things. And so I think as you're working on this, I am kind to myself while attempting new things that we actually have to attempt new things, right? That's one of the things that we need to do in life to be kind to ourselves because if we never try new things, we'll never discover new joys and new possibilities, new friends, new whatever. So I'm hoping that you're, you are all super good at trying new things. If not, and I know it's late, I meant to do this shout out earlier, but I was with Derek actually in a trial that went much longer than expected. It was scheduled for three hours and it actually went five. So, um, so it's, it's good. We need to be kind to ourselves when we try new things. Sometimes when we try new things, it doesn't turn out perfectly. And as much as we would want everything that we do to turn out amazing, right? We can be kind to ourselves and gentle to ourselves. And aren't we thankful to, for everyone who is gentle with us when we try new things? Okay, so I'm just reminding you that every single time we do an affirmation, we're pairing it with a song and we're pairing it with a diffuser blend. And the song for this, for I Am a Love Magnet, is Ludwig von Beethoven's Ode to Joy. It's a super, super happy and Definitely powerful song. I think you're really, really going to love it. And the diffuser blend that we are pairing it with is lavender, the oil of calm and communication, cypress, the oil of motion and flow, and lemon, the oil of focus. And in parts two and three, we talked about, in part two, we talked about lavender. In part three, we talked about cypress. So today, we are talking about lemon. And if you've ever smelled, smelled doTERRA's lemon essential oil, you know how amazingly uplifting it is to you. In fact, every single citrus oil is a is an will be uplifting or mood mood elevating oil. So if you have like lemon, you have lime, wild orange, bergamot, um, grapefruit. Anyway, so all those citrus oils are super mood uplifting. I want to talk to you a little bit about lemon, and um, I'm bringing, or what the emotional benefits of lemon, and I'm going to be reading to you out of this book again, Essential Emotions, Your Guide to Process, Release, and Live Free. And you can buy both of these, all of these books actually, at Aroma Tools, which I love that shop. Anyway. So this is what it says about lemon. The delightful citrusy, citrusy aroma of lemon oil engages the mind and aids for concentration. So it's going to be a great oil if you're trying to study. If um, It'd be a great oil to like diffuse when you're trying to study. It'd be a great oil to put in your water instead of doing the tea or the coffee or the Coke or whatever caffeinated drink you might reach for the candy bar instead of doing all those stuff as pick-me-ups just put a couple drops of le doTERRA's lemon essential oil in your water and first of all I need to make the disclaimer that I would never ever recommend ingesting any oil besides doTERRA's because doTERRA's every single batch of doTERRA's oil is third-party tested through and um, they're all sort of therapeutic grade certified pure so you know that you're getting just straight lemon oil and nothing else in your oils. So anyway, it aids in concentration and it engages the mind. While lemon is, supports the emotional body, its major effects are experienced in the mental field. The crisp scent of lemon oil improves one's ability to focus. 
Lemon is a wonderful aid, aid for children struggling in school. It teaches individuals to be mentally present by focusing on one thing at a time. I don't know if you're, if you're, um, seems like women love to do many things at the same time, like we like to multitask, but I think that sometimes gets our thoughts and our energy scattered. So focusing on one thing at a time um, might just bring a little bit more enjoyment into your life. Lemon dispels confusion and bestows clarity. It counterbalances mental fatigue due to too much studying or reading. So if you have a college student, if you have a high school student, if you have someone taking AP classes, someone, you know, really studying for a major exam, lemon. Lemon's a super good oil to to give you. And I'm not going to read this whole thing, but I'm going to skip to some of the um, negative emotions addressed. So if you're confused or you have the inability to focus, if you're mentally fatigued, if you lack joy and energy, and um, if you have learning issues, and this even says if you're feeling guilty um, or disengaged, try lemon. Now, my suggestion is if you're feeling guilty, you might want to think to yourself, hmm, what am I feeling guilty about? And should I be feeling guilty about it? Like, is there a reason for me to feel guilty about it? And then if there is, repent, right? Like, I sometimes think that God gave us guilt to, um, or a conscious, I'm just, I'm going to say that God gave us guilt, but God gave us a conscious to let us know, hey, you did something that isn't on the path to happiness. Go ahead, repent, back up, and get, you know, back on the same path, the right path as soon as you can. So if you've done something that you're feeling guilty over, repent, say I'm sorry, make amends, you know, and lemon oil might give you the courage or the chutzpah to do that, but if you're feeling guilty, like, address the issue. Don't ignore the guilt. Okay, and then the positive properties that it brings in is focused, energized, mental clarity, alert, rational, and joyful. And I do really think that lemon is a super, super joyful oil. I remember um, watching some training on lemon essential oil and just how when you cut open a lemon, you know how it's all kind of, it kind of all focuses into the center. Well, that also helps you to, to um, create your self identity or to bring back your self identity. Like if, if you've, I don't know, sometimes it seems like a lot of moms over the years that they're just, they're doing so much for their children and they're living so much of their lives for their children that sometimes they lose who they are. Like, oh yeah, I'm so-and-so's mom. Oh yeah, I'm so-and-so's daughter or sister. But sometimes we lose our identity. So I really do think that lemon can remind you how wonderful you are. Okay, now I want to really quick, because this book, which I super love too, Emotions and Essential Oils, an A to Z guide, it also has some stuff about lemon. But what I love about this book is that it has affirmations too. So you know the, ma the main affirmation we're working on today is, I am a magnet for love, and I am kind to myself while attempting new things. But as you're diffusing the two drops lemon, two drops cypress, and two drops lavender in your diffuser, um, you can also think about this affirmation for lemon. And this is what lemon says. I am capable of greatness. I am able and willing to learn. I love myself unconditionally. Like we do not have to be perfect in everything we do. We do not have to be competent in everything we do to love ourselves. We can just be happy that we tried. Okay, it is a joy to contribute my gifts and talents to the world. My future is bright. And I do really think that when you're talking about lemon, Lemon just wants to tell you, your future is bright. Okay, I am perfectly supported and nurtured as I grow into my full potential. So I think that we can, Lemon reminds us, our future is bright, and we can try new things, and we don't have to be perfect the first time or even the 50th time that we do them. We can try and expand our abilities. Okay, so... 
This is Suzanne Williams signing off from Essential Oils Health Matters and Living the Wholesome Life. And I just want to remind you that you are a magnet for love and you should be super. Okay, should, are we supposed to say the word should? You're going to be way happier if you are kinder to yourself while attempting new things. So be kind to yourself while you're attempting new things. Love you guys. Bye.